Okay, before we get into examples, let's recap. Okay. The impact equation, okay. where the sum of all the linear momentums before equals the sum of linear momentum after. Right? Now, keep in mind, this is a vector equation. Right? Each term is a vector, okay? which means that it has directions. Okay? So we need to apply this into, let's say, x and y or any other directions. Before you actually plug in numbers. Now, uh, this okay, actually means that linear momentum is conserved throughout the collision process. Right? So the total linear momentum before equals total linear momentum after. Okay? So this is called the conservation of linear momentum. Now, usually, usually, for uh, a collision type problem, Okay, you have two objects, right, A and B. Okay. Each can be coming at different directions. Okay. Now the velocity V A before and V B before they're usually known. The unknown are usually the velocity after impact. Okay. So we're interested in finding the direction and the magnitude of velocities of these two particles just after impact. So, two unknowns. However, right here we have one equation, although it's, it's a vector equation. Okay? Um, usually we'll apply this equation into in one single direction. Okay? So that really gives you one, um, one equation. So, you need a second equation. Okay. Now this kind of equation comes from something called coefficient of restitution. Okay. The symbol is E. Okay. This coefficient of restitution is defined as a more layman's term. Okay. It's the ratio of deformation okay, being in the uh, denominator and something called restitution in the numerator. So it's restitution versus deformation. Okay. Restitution okay, means Restore, restoration. Okay, Rest restoration of what? On restoration of energy. Okay. Now, during a collision process, okay, when during this impact, if you were to slow it down, okay, analyze it more, uh, more carefully in the final scale, okay, collision actually can consist of. Deformation, okay, where an object actually deforms first, okay, followed by restitution or restoration, okay, where it restores into back into shape, okay. So deformation could be something like this, okay, it could be more graphic, okay. This object, the object A, it would deform. During some time during this collision, and then sometime later, it will restore. Okay. So now, the more precise definition is actually impulse. Okay, the impulse during deformation and this is the impulse during the restitution phase. And the impulse is force integrated over dt. Okay? And it's the collision force okay? integrated over dt. Okay? Now for deformation, which is the first phase of collision, the so time going from zero to 
deformation time, okay? Sometime during this deformation phase or compression phase, okay? So from zero to compression time. And then this restitution phase starts right after. Okay, so we're going to integrate from compression time all the way to the end of the entire collision process, so TC, collision, okay, or just you can call it T, right, the final time during this collision process. Okay, so this is actually looking at this collision process, just breaking it down into fine, fine time scale. Okay, so this is the definition okay, of coefficient of restitution. Now, it's a ratio of these two things, okay, and they both have the same units, which means that E is unitless, okay, it's dimensionless. And also, another thing to, uh, to note is that the collision forces, okay, collision forces always, always act along the direct central impact direction. Okay? Keep that in mind. So now, if we take this definition okay, and after some simplification, here's the result. Okay, I'm not going to go into the whole derivation. Okay, you, you can read the textbook for it. Okay, here is the final result. E, quotient restitution, equals the difference between velocity, VB, okay, minus VA, oops, between the two objects after, okay, that is final. Divided by the A minus the B before. Okay? Very important, however, because of the fact that this collision forces act along the DCI direction. So when you take the component of velocity, you have to take the DCI direction component of velocity. Okay? So it's not just any velocity, right? So you have these two particles, right? A can be going this way, B can be going this way. Okay. So the velocity okay, can be at any direction. Okay. But when they actually collide, okay, let's say this is the picture when they when they collide, okay. this is the tangent. Now this is the normal, which is the DCI direction. Okay, so you need to take the component along the DCI direction. Okay, to plug into this equation to calculate the coefficient of restitution. Okay. So, this is how E is defined. So, however, I want to point out that E is dependent on many properties. Okay. Properties of your particles. Okay. Um, for example, the material properties, okay, what is it made out of, okay, um, the surface condition, okay, uh, between the two objects, okay, and things like that, okay. So this actually, okay, is a property of your particle. And E is always, always between zero and one. 